Comedians are being held accountable for the laughter. That's the problem. Everyone's a victim. And she's right. The comedians are struggling. A healthy society needs comedians who feel free to find humor in everything, including making fun of Jews and blacks and women and trans and white men and basically everything. Yes, there are lines that shouldn't be crossed, even in comedy, but rather than drawing them so strictly, I'd hope that we could stop stepping on one another to be outraged at the people who are making a joke. And yes, maybe even have one at your expense. Joining me now is comedian and author of Yes, I Can Say That. When they come for the comedians, we are all in trouble. Judy Gold. Good to see you, Judy. Thank you for having me. What do you make of, of this, of what's happening lately? You know, it is so disturbing uh, being, you, you really sort of hit the nail on the head when you're, you know, we're in a comedy club. It, you know, all this talk about safe space and being offended, that's a choice. That is a choice to go, uh, my friend Eddie, I have this great quote in, in the book, it, going to a comedy club and getting upset that you got offended is like getting on a roller coaster and getting upset that you got scared. <laughs> You know, it's part of the territory. And when you, comedians who do speak truth to power, we do have points of view. Um, when you start stifling that, and when you start saying, you know, this might offend someone, so you, you know. But you have to be thinking that now, but, right? Are you worried it's, about it's that? All, it's, I, it's unbelievable, Dan. There are people, the edgiest comedians who come up to me and say, do you think I'm gonna get in trouble? If, and it's like, we were never like that. Plus, there was no social media, so that's another big issue. We used to go to our comedy clubs and do our jokes and find the line. You, you know, you need an audience to find the line. We don't know where it is. And, you know, George Carlin famously said, it's the comedian's job to find that line, cross it, and make the audience happy that you did. You know, we are social commentators, but we really, you can joke about anything as long as it's a well-crafted joke. And, and where is the line? I mean, like, obviously there's no, like, defined line, but, but there is a line, right? There is something where... Well, there where... is a line. You know, you look, at, you look at comedians who are, their goal is to make you laugh. Right. That is our goal. That's it, when we get on stage. Then you look at the, the speech of certain politicians, right, who incite violence with their speech. Um, they, they hurt people with their speech. They make laws that are, are uh, really uh, hurting people's but lives. But see, the, here's yet, the difference. Here's yes, the difference. Yeah. The politicians are held accountable to the people who vote, right? And people can vote them in right. or not vote them in. And as a result, the comedians but the are, com held, are, are held to account by the social media mobs. Right. And if you don't like a comedian, then turn, uh, turn the channel. Do we turn channels anymore? No, Not no. really. Well, we flip. Change the channel. Yeah, 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 yeah flip yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, remember, when turn we used, it remember when you used oh to Oh, my God, I got up the... from the couch. Right, right. There was that no was remote the... control. Right. right, that was the only exercise yeah, I got. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's really, it's, why are people not taking responsibility, you know, um, and walking around blaming comedians? Oh, that hurts me. I, that triggered me. Okay, well, talk about it. You know, I, I was sort of mentioned to you before we started, Norman Lear, who, you know, was such the, he was the zeitgeist when I was growing up. You know, half, half of his shows wouldn't get on a network, to, uh, network uh, right now, a major network. Um, All in the Family, can you imagine, you know, pitching that show right now? Right. Maud had an abortion on network television. Right. You know, these are things, and everyone watched, and then everyone talked about it. Now, the thing about Dave is that people are talking about it. You know, people are, we are having this discussion yeah. because of what Dave said. You know, some of it I was hysterically laughing at. Some I was like, oh, I don't know, that's kind of a false equivalency. But that's what it is. You don't have to like every, do you like every yeah. song from your favorite band? You know, you go to a concert and they have new songs and you, you, you hate them forever. They should be. I do not believe in cancel culture at all. Uh, look, and, and I, I just can't imagine being a comedian in this, in this it's culture. It's really because, scary. Because Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.